All right, so one of the big issues that everybody wants to know about after they've chosen their entity type, of course, is what kind of things do I need to do to get investors and what do the deals look like? And the short answer to this is unfortunately one that you're gonna shrug and sigh with. And it's that every deal is kind of different, uh, but there are certain characteristics that we sort of see over and over and over again. So one of those is uh, that a lot of restaurant groups that we're associated with um, that take on investor capital have kind of what's called like a preferred investor um, structure where the investor money gets paid back first with some hurdle or interest rate kind of so maybe it's eight percent per year once they receive their money then the owners start getting uh, distributions an alternative to that structure that we see commonly is you know a partnership flip structure where maybe the investors are paid 75% of profits until they're paid back and the managing group gets 25% until the investors are paid back, then it goes you know, 75, 25. Um, we also see you know, a lot of deals, frankly, where everybody's kind of in it together and everybody's just owning a percentage um, of the company from the get-go. So those are the three most common ways I, I think we see it structured. And again, to recap, there's a preferred kind of return structure where people get their money back plus some percent. Then they start sharing pro rata with the owners. Number two, there might be a 50-50 or you know 51-49 or 75-25 partnership flip where uh, the distributions are weighted toward the investors and then toward management. And then third, everyone's in it together. There's one class of units and people are just distributing pro uh, profits each year on a pro rata basis, meaning that everybody basically has the right to get you know, their pro rata share of the profits each year. So those are the three most common ones that we see. We also see that you know certain kinds of investors do want some investor approval rights. These are usually called protective provisions and other kinds of deals like in, in the venture capital world. And basically these are like negative veto rights where investors might have to sign off on things that are you know, well beyond budget, uh, incurring debt, selling the company, shutting it down, you know, things that really have a big impact on the economics of their investment. These are negotiated on a case by case basis. There's certainly a lot of deals that we do where the restaurant group has pretty much free authority to manage the company within the bounds of the law and that investors don't have specific approval or veto rights, but there are enough deals with those in them that I think they're worth mentioning. And I think what you want to do as a restaurateur that's seeking investors is figure out who your kind of core lead investors are going to be, the people that write the biggest checks or do the most of these deals that are influential on others that you're talking to, because those people will have a preference and you'll have to sort of take those into account when pitching your deal in order to get people on board. And there are certain strategies that you can take. So you don't have to figure everything out on day one. You know, if you're working with an experienced group like us, you can kind of get out there and start figuring out how uh, the deal might shape up in a very systematic format before you incur a lot of cost and expense writing up documents that people might reject. So don't feel like you have to do this in a vacuum. Find the right guidance, somebody that can, you know, has been through the process a bunch of times and can help guide you through that. But those are some of the high level, you know, issues that people need to think about when they're raising money for a restaurant group. If you have any questions, reach out to us, get in touch. If you like this content, please like and subscribe and uh, link to the content if, you're, if you really like it. But we appreciate your support and hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.